Hey everybody, Whitney Miller here. I am back home in New Orleans, actually in the French Quarter right now. And it has been really fun getting to know all of you in the comments section, talking about the tool chest, talking about my work, talking about my nails. Uh, but a lot of the questions I've been getting, or one of the questions I've been getting is, where did this tool chest come from? So I asked Chris to tell us about his research. Here's his report. <laughs> After we released Whitney Miller's video on how to make a Swedish tool chest, several readers asked, where did this chest come from? You know, did it just appear out of nowhere? And the story begins in about 2011. I was teaching at Roy Underhill's school in North Carolina, and I was upstairs at the tool store run by Ed Lebetkin, and there was this really curious box on the floor. And I was like, what, what is that? And I opened it up and sure enough, it looked like a tool chest, but it was not like any other tool chest that I had seen in my life, you know, which we think of these square boxes with a straight lid. It was a slant lid. And I remember asking Roy, you know, where did this come from? And uh, he said it came from overseas and it had been in his shop uh, for a while. So I, I tucked that away in my brain um, and then uh, several, I think months later, after I got back from uh, Roy's, I was reading through Jim Tolpin's book on toolboxes. And there, bam, I'd seen it a hundred times, but I'd never seen it. It was a Dutch tool chest uh, that uh, had you know, bays in the bottom, but it also had this slanted lid. And all of a sudden, when I started looking around at historical um, uh, manuscripts and uh, engravings, this box appeared everywhere because it has been everywhere uh, throughout uh, Europe for centuries. Uh, I found it in open air museums all throughout uh, Copenhagen and uh, Sweden and Germany in uh, sizes that were really small and sizes that were really large, so large that they were being used for tack, for farm animals. But the final straw that really pushed us over to make this video was I was in Stockholm uh, visiting Johan Leerfalk, who is one of our uh, retailers for Lost Art Press. And back in the corner of his office, covered in junk, was this tool chest. And I recognized what it was. It looked like just like the one in Roy's shop. So we pulled it out from the junk and I started going over it in detail, taking measurements, and that's when I knew we had to do a video on this tool chest. It's a great chest because it's a little simpler than a, a big English joiner's chest and a little more uh, complex than a Dutch tool chest, and it, it works really well. Um, so when we decided to make this video, uh, we wanted to make it really accessible for beginners, and so we decided to reach out to Whitney Miller, who's a good friend of mine, and a very competent amateur woodworker to see if she was game. She was, and she did an excellent job, and that's exactly where this video started. <laughs> 